All right, now we have the fun part of uh, kayak fishing. It's the part where we actually get in a kayak and go fishing. But I want to give you the skills that make it easy. There's a lot of common mistakes people make. Mistake number one is how do you get in and out of a kayak? Okay, well the tier, the apex tier is very special and it's the easiest one in the world. But all kayaks, you can use this technique. Notice that the boat, I have the boat positioned parallel to the shore. Right now it's floating. I got it just up on the shore a little bit. What this does is puts it in a stable position. Now the apex tier is flat throughout, so you could point the bow out and it would still be stable. But most kayaks have a keel on the bottom, and if the bow is pointed out to the water and the stern's on the shore, you're going to step in and you're, it's just going to tip to the side and you're going to fall right out. Do not try to get in and out of a kayak pointed towards the shore. Point it sideways, grab your paddle, Now I want you to look. I can stand right here, there's full stability because it's on the side. And you can step right in and you can sit down. Now, what if you're a little bit older and not super nimble? You have bad knees, bad back, you're a bit overweight. This isn't easy for you to get up and down out of a chair. Check this out. Whoa. The apex seat is a swivel seat. It turns sideways. So you can literally go like this. You put your hands on the seat for support and you can just draw, drop right in. I'm trying to use the sound effects that I hear a lot in this. And then you just swing your legs over and you're ready, off you go. And you can just push off to the side. That is cool. Now the two things that are required to get in and out of a seat in a kayak, if you don't have good knees or good back and you're not super nimble, the higher the seat is, the easier it is. If the seat's down on the bottom, you're going to be falling under the bottom. It's going to be difficult and getting out is going to be even harder. So the higher the seat is off the ground, the easier it is for you to get in and out if you're not an athlete. Um, now, if you are an athlete like me, it's just more convenient and easier. Now notice I'm just pushing straight to the side and now I'm ready to go. All right, now let's talk about, um, let's talk about some uh, strokes. Now we want to make the kayak go where we want it to go. The most important stroke, of course, is your forward stroke. A forward stroke, if you look at most kayak fishermen, they're leaning back and they're paddling like this. And they're not going very fast. The speed you can go is a combination of the kayak being fast, number one, but number two, you having a good stroke that's efficient. Efficient means that you're using the paddle as effectively as possible so you're not wasting energy. And you're using your body parts as effectively as possible. Now the body parts you use when you do a forward stroke, obviously you're using your arms, but ideally you're using your torso. Now most kayaks have a seat that's a, it's a stable seat that doesn't swivel. So the seat is stationary. So how much torso you can use depends upon how flexible you are. The apex tier, the seat moves with you. So it allows you to twist and very effectively propel the boat forward. Pretty cool. So let's do the mechanics of the forward stroke. The more vertical your paddle is, the more it's going to propel you forward and the less it's going to make your boat yaw back and forth. If you reach forward to about to your toes, you see where your toes are? If your paddle goes in where your toes are and out right past your hip and right next to the boat, that's the proper position. Now for so if we can just break the one habit that most of you have or most people when you watch people do will do which is the paddle down here and every stroke is a turning stroke and a lot of that energy is wasted so to put it in perspective I can paddle this kayak comfortably at four and a half miles an hour um, on this lake for an hour um, with a good stroke. Now I'm in good shape and all that stuff, but if I try to paddle it like this, 
I'll be paddling it at three miles an hour. Where if I paddle like this, vertical strokes and torso, it's more effective and the boat goes a lot quicker. Okay, now let's talk about turning. Fishing is about step one, get to where you want to go. And meanwhile, let's turn this on. <laughs> so kayak fishing is about step one, get where you want to go, and then step two, be effective while you're there, um, doing the actual fishing. We just talked about the forward stroke. That's how you get straight to where you want to go. Um, a couple tips um, related to going distances or, tra or traveling somewhere. If you've got a headwind, you can often duck along one side or the other and stay out of the wind. Headwind, for example, if I can go four miles an hour, four and a half miles an hour for an hour, if I've got a headwind, that might drop down to three and a half miles an hour, which is you know, 30% less speed. But if you duck, if you go next to the shore that where it's protected from the wind, you get a lot more speed. You're back to, you know, four miles an hour. You go a lot quicker. So try to stay out of the wind, the headwind. And then if you're going downwind, of course, try to use the wind to your advantage. Okay. Now let's talk about maneuvering. Maneuvering, you need a couple of turning strokes. The most important one is the forward sweep. The forward sweep is where you reach um, up past your toes and you push the paddle out and away, out and away from the boat. This is obviously important if you want to change the direction of the boat. Now, boats, some boats really turn really easy and some boats don't turn easy. How easy a boat turns depends upon the boat design. The apex tier, extremely maneuverable. Why? because I want to be able to set my angle for fishing really easily. All right, so that's the forward sweep. Your other turning stroke, your primary turning stroke, is a reverse sweep. That's where you take the paddle and push it straight away from the stern, out in, a, in an arc. This is when you want to stop the momentum of the boat and change the direction. So if I want to cast back there, for example, now there's a couple more advanced strokes. I'm going to demonstrate them for right now. Um, you can find them in my Whitewater series. A draw stroke, a side slip stroke, where you pull the boat sideways. Those are two strokes that are really cool for some fine maneuvering. If you go to EJ's Strokes and Concepts program, it's done in a whitewater boat, but you can apply it directly to the fishing boat. Oh. Let's talk about something that's really fun before we get into the fishing stuff. Actually, let me add one more thing. So by the way, it is 4th of July, and I'm at a popular lake. So all those kids playing in the background, super cool. But what I can do that those kids can't do is I can go paddle over here where there are no kids and there's a lot of fish and go catch fish. <laughs> Check this out. You can do turning strokes with your rod. So let's say I want to cast to the tree behind me and I've got my paddle down. I've got two choices. I can grab the paddle or boom. I can swing it around. Very good. Before we get into the fine tuning and the fishing part, let's talk about standing up in a kayak. To stand up in a kayak, you have two main ways. The main way is you grab your, uh, you put your, your hands on the seat and the apex seat has high sides, which makes it a lot easier. Use your hands for stability and you stand straight up. Now you should be able to stand on one foot, one foot. If you can't stand on one foot without the boat flipping, your boat is too narrow. So the boat should be able to support you with, uh, with one foot. So now that you're standing, what do you do? Well, your paddle, it's hard to reach the water normally. You can either squat down and paddle, but more, uh, more common is to grab the end of the paddle and take strokes like this. You can also hold it somewhere in the middle and take strokes. 
and you have a couple choices to keep the boat straight because you're paddling on one side, more like a canoe and then switching. Your choices for that are one, you can switch like I'm doing here, stroke, 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 or you can do what's called an offside stroke where you literally switch to the other side of the boat. I'll demonstrate that again. Now I'm doing an offside C stroke. Remember EJ's Strokes and Concepts program, it's on YouTube if you really want to learn the advanced strokes. And by the way, can you go fast standing up and paddling? Of course you can. You ever heard of a stand-up paddleboard? What do you think we got here right now? <laughs> Pretty cool. All right. Now, oh, by the way, now I'm going to drop my transducer in. Yeah, my transducer's in the water. I'm in two and a half feet. 89 degrees because it was in the sun. Okay, fishing. What do you do with your paddle when you're standing up? Generally speaking, I put it right here. That's what this spot in the tier is for. So when you're not holding the paddle, now you need to use your rod tip for fine control. You can get a lot of casts without having to pick up your paddle by controlling with, controlling with your rod tip. But watch this. I'm using a swim jig and I'm pulling the swim jig with my rod out front and it's turning my boat. You can literally, like I want to point this way, by pointing my rod in front of me, I'm pulling the bow and I'm turning in the direction I want to go. If I was throwing a spinner bait or a crank bait, it would turn me and I could pull myself down this bank without ever taking a stroke. Pretty cool. Now I want to face you again. A couple of pulls of the rod's tip. Now I'm back in position. Okay. Let's look at this seat one more time. This is specific to the Apex Watercraft tier. <laughs> it means if you have any other kind of kayak, I'm sorry, but this isn't going to work. Um, but with the tier, it works awesome. Now what is that? Let's say I want to get something out of the back of the boat. I can just turn around back. I can play with my transducer. I can get something out of a cooler or a tackle box. Pull back forward and ready to go. This is pretty awesome. And yeah, it's only in the tier. Uh, is that necessary? No, but it's pretty cool, huh? You got to admit. Yep. So most kayaks, you're, you're locked this way. So if you want to get something behind you, you're doing one of these. Uh, unless you're like a, a yogi, you know, that can do the pretzel, it's really difficult to get anything out from behind you. So the tier solves that problem with a swivel seat that goes backwards and allows you, so you can see what it looks like, allows you to get anything out you want, like get out my, my buckboard, Good to go. Play with my, uh, my transducer. Bring it back up. Check it on it, it's all good. Go back forward. Off we go. Is that advanced? Is that beginner? Well, it's not advanced if you've got an apex tier. Pretty sweet. All right, next segment, we're gonna talk some specific fishing tips. This is when you're casting and you just want to catch fish and you're using a kayak, what are some of the things I've learned over the years that make it easier? We'll do that next.